so today I'm going to be doing Mystique from the X-Men. So if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So to start off, before you do anything with latex, you're always going to want to test it on your wrist or on your arm somewhere. Just to make sure you're not allergic. And once you make sure that it's not going to kill you, then you're going to want to put it on your forehead. And for this one, I was looking at a picture of Mystique to kind of get an idea of what the design was. And it's kind of a lot of longer pieces, bigger dots, and then small dots in and around it. You don't have to go exactly the way they had it in the pictures. I was looking at the Jennifer Lawrence version. But it should be something around there. And you're going to do this on your forehead and down the sides of your cheek. While it's drying, you're also going to want to add do this for a couple layers just so that it pops up a little bit more. Just make sure that it's dry before you start moving on. Now while I'm waiting for that to dry, I start painting my neck and chest blue. And for this you're going to want to use very bright blue. I'm like, just a bright blue, yeah. <laughs> and you're going to want to paint your neck and your chest. If you're doing a full body paint, get some pasties for that. And then once you make sure the latex is dry, you want to make sure it's dry because if you don't, you're going to ruin your brushes and then you're going to have sad brushes. And then you're going to powder. Why? So that it stops being sticky. one glob spot is still kind of wet, but it wasn't popping. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Once you have everything dry, you can go ahead and start painting over everything. And then what I did, uh, just kind of like avoided that spot because it was scaring me. I really like my brushes. I don't want them to get ruined. And then you can go ahead and paint the rest of your face. Woo! eyebrows for this look and I have a couple videos where I do cover my eyebrows so I'll have links down below but you don't have to. And then what I did to make the spots or the yeah the spots sort of a little bit more stand out a little bit more I mix that bright blue with a little bit of black and um, give you this dark blue. Or if you have a dark blue, you can do that instead, but I didn't. So, there are options. And then with that same dark blue, you can go ahead and start doing the spots that she has on her body. These are more like spot spots instead of like the random designs that she has on her forehead. They're a little bit more rounded and some are a little bit more square. So you can look at a picture um, just to get an idea of what it should look like. And then to add a little bit more three dimensions because she is kind of shiny. Um, you can go ahead and mix that bright blue with some white. Light blue. Unless you have a light blue, then you can use that one. I don't know. For me, doing this kind of made the darker spots stand out a little bit more. But if you don't want to do that, and then I should have done this in the first place, but I actually contoured a little bit with some. Eyeshadow. I also contoured my. What is that? Is it a I don't know. The thing that goes in when you like <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I I also uh, powdered my neck a little bit. And then I did try with orange body paint to paint 
my hair, but it wasn't coming out. It's kind of like I'm running already brown. So I just went with mine. If you have lighter hair than mine, then you can probably get away with the orange. Or you can mix red and orange together to get kind of a darker color, which I probably should have done now that I'm thinking about it. But I still like how this one came out. You also want to make sure that whether your hair is down or up or whatever, just to have it slick back. If anybody gives you flack for not having colored contacts, just tell them you're mistaken. and you can have whatever color as you want. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next, and leave me a comment down below letting me know who your favorite movie is. See you next time. Bye!